Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I still remain your humble host, Victor Shamaki. And today I'll be taking you a journey on how to design photo book on Fundi Designer. The last time I was here, we were able to learn how to install the photo book. And then today I'll be showing you how I used to design my photo book. So without any further ado, Let's get started. All right, we are on the software. So this is the interface of the photo book designer, that's Fundi Designer. And uh, this is my previous uh, designs. So this is where we are now. So to start using this, I will just briefly, it's a very simple software to use. So to do that, all you need to do when you enter from the designer you click on project it will be like this so you click on project to bring it in you say add new project on adding new project the name of the client the bride the groom because basically you can do photo book for birthday any of the but then the common one that we they enjoy these days are weddings so let's say it's wedding of doctor that's my new my my, my client Dr. Abel. Okay, so I'm going to use Dr. Abel. Dr. Abel, if you come across the video, just know that I love you. <coughs> All right, so um, I've, have, I've had it prepared. So you locate the folder you want this to be, then you okay it. So the next thing is you're going to build the item. So what we're doing here is photo book. So you come to album builder, still under this, your project, Dr. Abel. So they're telling you what you want to do. You want to do block color, you want to do gallery designer, you want to do image brander. And then what we're going to do is an album builder. So there are three options here, but then we won't be talking about those options. We just go for costume size, costume size. Now, if you're doing Fundi Direct, it's after designing, you order it directly online. But I think that's basically work for those in the US. And then this one is, they have already prepared designs which you could use and do your design. But most of the times, you know, I won't say what we're using, but then it won't really work. So just go for costume size. So on costume size, we want to design a photo book of... Um, 8 by 10 so uh basically let's put 20 because you're multiplying two sides in one that is if you spread it you would realize that the 10 10 by one side so you put it 20 then this one you increase two inches you make it 10 so it will be 20 10 then your dpc maybe in one of the video i'll explain uh, dpi sorry your resolution then this will be inches i'll explain how to calculate this whole narrative but today let's just design so this is for 8 by 10 so we we'll go to next and we don't want to design cover here then we we'll go to next and then we we'll name it wedding love that's just the name that randomly come on my head then we'll create an album so voila here is it so the next is you'll be bringing the image to design so let's click and bring the image but before we do this let me quickly show you something how i normally arrange my work before designing so let's enter here so this is how i've grouped my work i created a folder now if you if i select this you see that there are 20 items that means there are 20 folders each folder represents a page. So all the pictures I put in these folders will be used in designing just one page. That's one sheet of the photo book. So here from bridal shower to bride alone, I group where all the pictures the bride is gathered alone, you know, and then the one the bride and groom are together, that is both, Everywhere, whether on the reception, just where the bride and groom are together, those I selected, and then cutting of cake, then coming to dignitaries. The dignitaries are the wedding reception, 
then their entrance uh, coming to their bachelor eve then to where they were feeding themselves you know love in the air then to friends of the groom and bride so basically then bride groom alone then uh this was where they take the bride from her parent house and then to church you know and their entrance everything in one and then where they they, they were handing over the bride to the groom and then to there's all the people that just anyone that's any other business in time of meeting but there's no meeting you know so then to the opening of veil and then after the wedding you know when the bride and groom and their friends are chilling out then to send forward then to signing of their marital certificate and then i also joined their singles again their singles i just joined their singles like where the bride and groom have singles i just had to join them in one just a more way of you know designing then this way their thanksgiving days and then finally when they were exchanging their marital vows so basically this is how i group my and then i intend it to be 20 page 20 sheets sorry you can do 25 sheets depending on you know the monetary value between you and your client so it's what my client were paying that i decided to go for 20 sheets because 25 sheets cost me more okay so i give them based on you know so this you arrange your work here so that it can easily help you not to come and be looking for picture or repetition of pictures and all that so now that i've explained that let's go back and start designing okay so you drag it and you drop it here sorry my head was hot so you drag it and dropped on this image pressed on image then you bring out the drop it and drop so it to arrange itself here so it's important 25 of the pictures of the images all right so they are all going to display here so once you drag it okay let's we'll select all of them select all of them again to show you then you drop them here it's automatically going to design a photo book for you but then that the next thing you need to do is to start making adjustment okay so you start making adjustment you have to adjust it to see whether now you see auto design is on if i off it it's not going to design for you so let's on it and then let's check out what and what we can do for this design okay so uh -huh. So it brings us to all the various pages the designs that are available whether you want to make it like this or you want to make it like this but then if you make it like this it's not going to be that nice because only one picture is showing here and then the rest are you can be making adjustments and the rest are all jump packed in one so the best thing you do is you find where the two pages are all together then you make an adjustment so you find the one that can actually give you a center page so because we need to have a center page uh let's look at that one this one this one mm. okay let's say this one so You can also click here, here for the adjustment so once you've clicked here you will now make adjustment with this so you make adjustment with this so you're seeing the landing of the whole thing you make sure you don't cross this line you do same here and then you drag you don't make sure you don't pass these lines these border lines here you make sure you don't pass them just be at those lines you come back and finish up with this
because those printing will not really know so if you end up having them doing a cut and join on your work which is not professional all right so we drag this one up okay this one with not the down is not bad and oh sh Let me drag this back. Uh -huh. Let me book my remove it. Kawe. Let's remove this. Okay. So. All right. So you drag this and make sure it's, it's covering the whole gap. So now the next thing is you are making adjustment. You see, okay, which of this is not standing where it should be? Which of this isn't standing where it should be? So once you realize that all of them are all right, you are done with that page. So basically, for me, I think this is okay. But then I need to do one more thing. And so I need to give it a background on the ground. So, you know, the green, what is telling you, see, this software is so it's so interesting that it's telling you the cut zone that's where they will cut and the green is the safe zone so if you do not extend outside of the green zone it means your photo book won't be cut so this software is so easy so uh i think one of the things we will do again is to have a feel of color so we'll come to this pattern here so we'll choose a pattern any pattern you choose will display here so but i don't like this you drag the pattern and drop it to show you you check until you see pattern that aligns with what you want let's say this is okay let's say this is okay so we're done the next thing is we will close back the view so we've done page one to two so this will be this will be page one this will be page two so the next is you will start the new process you come back to image and you add so on adding you go where did we put it it's on in the pictures so you go to pictures and you look for where you keep it then we want to put who again now what do you want to put next we want to put brighter shower so we will make a selection i'm not using ctrl a because the software i'm using for recording is how if you put ctrl now it will post this whole thing so um now it's going to import 23 of those images so once they are imported you drag down to find the new ones this one will show that they are not selected so the next will be this so you just drag them and you drop them here it will continue so as earlier today you come back to your view and then i'm uh -uh, sorry i was selecting page one so you come you press on view then you now select under layouts then you check which layout you feel is best for this whole thing do you want just the bride to stand out and then leaving her friends and every other thing on one side do you want the friends to stand out depending on what you want so you make a reshuffling of them and then you check which of these is more appropriate for you so let's say one if you want to do it from this and you see that this whole place is cut off but then we check another layout again because the green remember is the safe zone all right, all right. so uh if we still use this one we used before so what we need to do is just to drag this 
to this part of the wall drag this to this part of the wall make sure it's clicking here then we do same to this and we do same to this and then it's not on save zone because this will be cut so you have to drag this back home okay then we'll do same to this one we'll drag this drag this back home so then you make adjustment to the pictures you see this one is the face we are not showing so you make adjustment so that the face can show you make adjustment now some sometimes you have to you have to change this let's say uh let me look at where the uh, you can decide to drag it and drop it here so that this one can come up and then you see it has changed some of the it has changed some of the picture and the narrative of the whole thing so you just make adjustment with those one now you see that the picture we we're cutting before has become a full picture so you can decide to draw this one up so basically just make an adjustment to just not have uh, to have a better output at the end so if you see that this will not do here you drag it to another place or you remove one and so that you can have more space so i think this is pretty good it's pretty good so if you're okay with this the next thing is to add a pattern if you don't even want a pattern you can leave it so you drag the pattern and drop it. so if you're okay with that you press view so in quickness we've done two page so this, we've done four page already so that's how you continue designing the photo book and when you're done well let's export now to export you just come down to this export down here and then you export for print export for proofa now this export for proofa it will send it to your client so your clients can provide you can also export to psd as well so you can export to psd bah, 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 bah. then you just fill in the name and to export you can but this we want to export for printing so we go here and then we go to where we want the work safe let's say let's put it under cake cutting since we've not put anything on that one so it's asking your range so the best thing is when you're exporting you export all it's going to export it with a number it's exporting with a number so you just click ok and then you watch it exposed we've only done two it's only exporting one of two so it's going to be page one two page three four that's what it's going to export for you so ladies and gentlemen i believe you've learned something from this i don't know whether it's little or long or any but you've learned something from this video if you have any comment a better way and anything so that we all were learning together but this is how i basically do mine so you can drop it at the comment section if you have a video of yourself just drop it too so that we learn from it and then don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and don't forget to like comment share to other photographers share to all the people in the world that are designing so that they can also learn and then keep the community growing thank you very much till i see you in the next video bye bye i love you Export completed. So, bye bye. Through through now.